Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this question, a logic circuit has been implemented with the help of the programmable ROM. So in this circuit, these R, S, T and U are the input to the circuit, while this V, W, Y and Z are the outputs. So here, these four inputs R, S, T, U represents the BCD input. Now whenever this BCD digit is divided by the number 3, then the quotient is represented by this VW output while this remainder is represented by this YZ output. And here we have been given that apart from this BCD inputs, other invalid input do not occur in the circuit. So in this question, the circuit which performs this specific function is implemented with the help of this ROM. And here we have been also given the interconnections for this output W and the Y. So here, we have been asked to find the remaining interconnections for this output Y and the Z. So let us find out. So like I said, these inputs R, S, T, U are the BCD inputs. And for this BCD input, we have total 10 different possibilities. That means this BCD input can go from the digit 0 to 9. And in the question, we have been given that this BCD input is divided by the digit 3. So after the division, the quotient is represented by these outputs V and W, while this remainder is represented by the outputs YZ. So whenever this 0 is divided by the 3, then the quotient will be 0 and the remainder will be also equal to 0. That means in the first case, both VW will be equal to 0 and the YZ will also be equal to 0. Similarly, in the second case, when the input 1 is divided by the 3, then the quotient will be equal to 0 while the remainder will be equal to 1. That means here, this VW is equal to 0, while the remainder is equal to 0, 1, that is equal to 1. Likewise, in the third case, when the 2 is divided by the 3, then the quotient will be once again 0, while the remainder will be equal to 2. That means in the third case, once again, the quotient is 0, 0, while the remainder is equal to 1, 0. Then after, in the fourth case, when the 3 is divided by the 3, then the quotient is 1 and the remainder is equal to 0. That means in the fourth case, this quotient is equal to 0, 1 while the remainder is equal to 0. And likewise, for the remaining cases, this quotient and the remainder has been calculated. So in this way, we got the outputs VW and the YZ. So now, according to this truth table, we need to make the interconnections in the given ROM. So here, we have been already given the interconnections for this output W and the Y. So as you can see from this truth table, this W output is equal to 1 for this 3, 4, 5 and the 9. And here, the input combinations corresponding to 10 to 15 are the don't care conditions. And that is why it is not shown in the interconnections. Similarly, if you see the output Y, then it is equal to 1 for the 3 input combinations. That is 2, 5 and the 8. And the same outputs are also interconnected over here. Similarly, we can easily find the interconnections for the outputs V and the Z. So here, this V is equal to 1 for the inputs 6, 7, 8 and 9. That means here, we need to make the interconnections at this 6, 7, 8 and the 9. Likewise, this Z output is equal to 1 for this 1, 4 and the 7. That means in the given row, we need to make the interconnections at this 1, 4 and the 7. So by making this interconnection, this VW output will provide the quotient for the given circuit while this YZ output will provide the remainder. So from this we can say that for the given question, this B is the correct answer. That means this V output line should be interconnected with this 6, 7, 8 and 9 outputs while this Z output should be connected with this 1, 4 and the 7 outputs.